What we've got here is failure to communicate. Warning, the following features challenges performed by seasoned spice freaks and without supervision of anyone with common sense. Accordingly, TCN Media Group and Tommy Boy insist that no one try to recreate or reenact any of the following challenge performed today. Hey everybody, it's your pal Time and Boy, and I'm back with another special edition of The Corner. Uh, today I am doing another spicy food challenge. As you can see right in front of me, I've got this little yellow and black box right here. This is the Solar Flare Challenge. Uh, basically, this is the, I guess if you want to call it, the little brother to the Death Nut Challenge. Uh, this is uh, extremely spicy sunflower seeds, of all things. Um, as you can also see, I don't have a co-conspirator next to me, so I am doing this one solo, uh, mainly because after last attempt at the uh, Death Nut Challenge, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to talk him into doing this again, which quite frankly, I can't blame him. I'm not even quite sure what the hell I'm doing it for, but it is what it is. Uh, so, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, uh, same rules as Death Nut Challenge. Uh, of course, I'm, I don't have the, uh, disclaimer in front of me, so I'll just say, uh, Blazing Foods, the maker of these challenges, I'm not going to sue you if, if I mess myself up doing this. Anyway, getting on to it, I'm going to use the same rules as before. Uh, no food or drink, uh, during the challenge, once I start, other than the contents of each little package or at least half of the contents of each little package because I'm pretty sure this is set up for uh, two players as well uh, so I am going to do at least half the package uh, 30 seconds in between each round after 15 seconds of chewing and swallowing I know that's what she said uh, when and if or I should say when I make it to the fifth level, the very final level. Uh, 15 seconds of chewing, five minute afterburn. No food or drink until that five minutes is up. As you can see, I've got my standby timer as well as a stopwatch so I can tell, you know, how long it's been in between each round. I can tell when 30 seconds is up and I can start the next round. Uh, outside of that, uh, just sit back and enjoy what. Uh, watching me make a complete ass of myself again or as I'm planning uh, watch me ascend into total victory absolutely annihilating this challenge that being said let's get right to it let's open the contents of the box oh, that's really packed in there this time isn't it Okay, that's that's weird. Yep, uh, the exact same rules still apply for this one. All right, so what we have here is instead of levels one, two, three, four, five, uh, they have different names to them as well. We have Flare A, Flare B, Flare C, Flare M, and Flare X. Now. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think I may have a distinct challenge or advantage to this particular challenge. I'm going to close this box up and set it right there. I'm assuming that's still in, f in the frame, but uh, yeah, I'm going to set that right there. I was reading the ingredients on the back of the package here, on the back of the box, and level flat, level five. Level 5, or Flare X, has pretty much the same ingredients 
of level 3 of Death Knight Challenge 3.0. If that's the case, I will make it through this challenge. I just have to suffer the 5 minute afterburn and I should succeed. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get right to it. And there's a whole lot of sunflower seeds in here, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, after I cut this open, I do have some scissors here with me. And if any of my haters happen to catch this, no, I'm not going to go running with them, so don't get your hopes up. Just sit back and enjoy me, watch, uh, watch me make an ass of myself, or watch me uh, completely shove it in your faces when I do succeed. <clears throat> so anyway, after that little tangent, uh, I think I'm just going to open these packs with the scissors as instructed, and I'm just going to pour the contents right down the throat, start chewing, and wait the 30 seconds in between each round, and I'm going to dive right into it. Here we go. All right, first round. Maybe I should have had another light up overhead so I can actually read this. We have habanero and scotch bonnet peppers with mild red chilies and lime. Shouldn't be too bad. I can do uh, habaneros and scotch bonnets pretty easily. But uh, here we go. Mm. That's pretty good. You can really taste the lime in this. This isn't bad at all, really. It's a lot to chew and swallow in, 30, in 15 seconds. I did the 15 seconds of chewing. I got, I'm going to stop it at 45 seconds because that will include the 30 seconds of burn. That's not too bad at all. It's actually pretty tasty. All right. There's level one. All right, level two. Red Savina peppers with adobo and cilantro. Sounds like it's going to taste pretty good, too. Level one. Flare A was actually very tasty. You could really taste the lime. Yeah, it's got, it's got a good bit of heat to it, so if... Uh, if the, if the habaneros kick your butt, I would highly suggest not doing this because if the habanero doesn't get you, the scotch bonnet will. Alright, let's do level 2, flare B. And if I'd known I'd be having to say flare this much, I probably would have had uh, my soundboard open. Wow, I'm drooling a little bit here. Would have had my soundboard open so I can actually... Uh, Hit the Ric Flair woo every time I had to say flair. But I don't, so I'm not. Alright, here it goes. Down the hatch. Flare B. It's pretty tasty too. Oh, that is a lot to swallow. That's what she said. Alright. I don't wait 30 seconds. Are you going to see? I do have my stopwatch going. I'm going to stop it at 45 seconds because I, I included the uh, 15 seconds of chewing. Let it keep going. 3, 2, 1 done all right not bad didn't really taste too much cilantro in there definitely tasted the peppers all right starting to get a little bit of a uh, teary eye here and uh, a little bit of nose run I should probably shake the uh, 
seasoning uh, shaken out of there. From every time I turn it over to show that I actually did put all of it in my mouth. Hmm. I'm going to take those off too. Getting a little teary over here. I'm glad I'm doing the back side of that and not where all the spice had been landing. Alright, getting a little bit of the nose runs. Kind of figured that was going to happen. Not a big deal. I'm still ready to go. And of course, I took my glasses off, so I can't read to you guys what's in this one. This one we have Flare C. We have Ghost Pepper, Devil's Breath, Seven Pot Brain Strain with Onion and Garlic. Odd combination. But why not? All right now, I'm starting to get a little aftertaste of the uh, cilantro on the last round. Go figure, that is actually hitting me late and not the spice. But it's still good. It's, I mean, they're, they're tasty. You just better be ready for some spice. All right, let's go level C. All right, and down the hatch. Pretty tasty so far. Hmm. All right, so I didn't uh, start the clock for the chewing, but I started it for the afterburn. Again, that is level three, flare C. So it's just a 30 second. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, the heat is definitely there. I mean, it is ghost pepper after all. Not sure what Devil's Breath is. Still not even 100% sure what Seven Pot Brain Strain is, but... <clears throat> it just sounds painful. Actually, all in all, outside of a little bit of a watery eyes and a little bit of a runny nose, not so bad so far. At least... On my experience level of eating anything spicy, it's pretty manageable. Kind of wishing I didn't. I had brought some toothpicks or something because uh, in a few of the seeds stuck in my teeth. This means I'll be picking these out for the next couple hours after I'm done with this. All right, let me wipe the tears from my eyes yet again. Again, I'm glad I'm not using the. Uh, the spicy, dusty, and or side of the uh, paper towel, because otherwise that would have really hurt just now. What did I do? Oh, I got a little bit on my glasses. Let me pause a moment. Cleans up, clean those off so I can actually see at least well enough to read. <laughs> okay, round four. Already doing better than uh, Death Nut Challenge, which I am going to be uh, doing that again. I am going in for the rematch. I can I psyched myself out on the last attempt at the uh, Death Nut Challenge, right as I was getting ready to uh, shovel level four into my mouth, and I'm kind of regretting it. So I can't go out like that. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out in glory, not just chickening out at the last second. So, I'm already doing better on uh, Solar Flare than I am with Dead Nut. But, uh, let's see, what do we got in this one? We got Trinidad Moroga uh, Scorpion Peppers with a Harissa... Uh, I can't even read all that. It's 
to put white lettering over an orange and white fl orange white and yellow flame on the packaging and I can't even read that now but some sort of uh, pepper spice blend not sure what it is but uh it's definitely kicked up quite a few notches with the uh, Trinidad scorpions again a pepper I'm not exactly unfamiliar with as we learned uh, my pal Tim the stick who did a death nut challenge uh, 3.0 with me the last attempt uh, he and I and and to most extents he still does grow our own peppers and one of the mainstays of our gardens was the Trinidad scorpions along with ghosts along with the Carolina Reapers and pretty much every pepper in between all the way down uh, way down to the basement where you got the Anaheims and bell peppers <coughs> so basically every pepper <coughs> wow that was a seed that went tried going down the wrong way so basically every pepper along the spectrum all the way from down from the basement down with you know benign you know bell peppers you know the the least spiciest pepper you can possibly think of all the way up to the granddaddy of them all the hottest pepper in the world which is to my knowledge still the carolina reaper uh we grow them uh, i've actually taken a break from growing right now i didn't plant a garden this year i'm kind of regretting it but at the same time i'm kind of not because uh my current schedule uh in in life just uh doesn't allow me much time to be able to maintain a garden i know not very professional uh sucking up snot in the in the microphone uh during a video but it is what it is all right here we have level four flare m And of course, I'm sucking, a bit, sucking up the snot back up again so I don't start dripping or choking on that or sounding like a nasally mess on the mic, which I probably do anyway. I don't know what you guys think about me. I, honestly, I don't care. All right, enough of my blabbering on. Let's get to it. Level four, Flare M, down the hatch. That is very tasty. Whatever that pepper spice uh, spice blend is, it is very good. All right, and here we go. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. One done. Good. <clears throat> Surprisingly, that one wasn't too bad. I get the feeling, though, Flare M is just the calm before the storm. This next one, final level, Flare X. This one is going to be the mother. Because, uh,. This is basically level three of Death Nut Challenge 3.0, just in sunflower seed form. And the contents are a blend of Carolina Reaper, Moroga Scorpion, Seven Pot Dugla, with a blend of savory spices. Pretty much. Level 3 from Death Knight Challenge 3.0. I know I've said that plenty of times during this uh, challenge. Just within the past couple of minutes, probably. 
but it is what it is. I'm point of no return. Cut it open. Getting a little bit of the burps, which I kind of figured was going to happen. But it is what it is. All right, so now I'm going to have a five-minute stopwatch or a countdown timer on this one. When this goes off, I finally get to extinguish the flame. And hopefully, if I make it the full five minutes, bask in the glory. I would normally say no guts, no glory before I start this. But after this, I'm surprised I will still have guts. Because I'm not going to bullshit you. It is spicy. It is very spicy. It is... If you are not used to any eating anything extremely spicy, don't try this. I mean, you saw the disclaimer. Don't try it. You've got to build a tolerance to these things. You just can't jump in the deep end and hope and hope you can swim. All right. Now that I've said that, all right. And uh, down the hatch. Much hotter. Still pretty tasty. Almost there. And timer counting. So while I'm doing this, waiting for my afterburn, <clears throat> I do want to remind everybody be sure to check out all my reaction videos. <coughs> Wow, that hurt. That was trying to go the wrong way. But uh, be sure to watch my reaction videos. I try to get new content every day during the week. Monday through Friday. Oh, hell. It's drool. I got three and a half, about three forty five to go. This is where you guys get to point and laugh at me. Trying to take off glasses that aren't even there. Three minutes to go. Sorry in advance for uh, blowing my nose in the in the microphone, but. It is what it is. Uh, I do have a nice glass of milk here to put out the flame when I'm done. This is definitely hell. 
See, 3.0, I didn't do the five minute burn because I tapped out at level three. Two minute warning. Get the glasses back on. So you can see. One minute left to go. I'm actually going to sit right there. This most definitely sucks. But I am determined. I am not going to let it beat me. One minute left in the period. One minute. I still feel the burn in my gums. Can't feel really so much in my tongue. Not so much in the mouth. I think I need to swish some milk around. Get it off the gums. That's why I feel it the most right now. It's not so bad everywhere else. It's actually starting to die down a little bit. <clears throat> wow. Even though I made it through all five levels. With, with about... 10 seconds to go it is still a very hard challenge not to be messed with you better know what you're doing and and here's the victory stop my timer cheers I made it That is sweet, sweet relief. I'm glad I'm not lactose intolerant. Otherwise, it would be double suck right now. Uh. All right. Oh. Alright, so in conclusion, it's a pretty good challenge. It's pretty tasty. But uh like I prefaced before, I will double down on right now. I had the distinct feeling I could beat this challenge. I proved myself correct. I would highly recommend this only if you are used to eating spicy foods. If you are not, and I cannot stress this enough, ooh, one second. But I cannot stress enough, do not try this whatsoever. It will mess you up. But that being said, it's your pal Tommy Boy. This has been uh, a little corner special and I will see you next time right here on the corner <laughs>